everyone, Hopefully K. Today I am with Lucy. Hi. And we are filming a very exciting tag. I'm super excited about this. I'm excited too. We are doing a naughties tag. So all about kind of growing up in the naughties, which is like when we were. When you say a naughty tag, it's it sounds like really some kind naughty. Of weird like actual tag. <laughs> it's not. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's not that at all. It's like growing up in the. Zero zeros. In the zero zeros. In the zero zeros. <laughs> so yeah, so I am filming Lucy today, who is Lucy Wood. You haven't got like a little name, have you? No, I'm just like, Lucy you're just, Wood. You're just Lucy Wood. <laughs> I'll put Lucy's channel down below if you haven't already subscribed, because you must, because you are really funny. Oh, thanks, Which, I think this is really <laughs> awkward, you know when like you compliment each other in real life, and you're just a bit like... Well, you can continue you if can, you like you to. Like <laughs> But yes, we thought we'd film it together because we've been talking about doing this for so long and today is the day. So that's why the background is separate. Yes, I'm in Lisa's house. Okay, so the first one is the fir your favourite music act from the noughties. I was thinking about this. Yeah. I think it's really hard to differentiate the 90s and the noughties. That is very true. My whole childhood is just a blur. Mine is kind of like 90s and noughties like in a sandwich. Yeah. So maybe we can kind of do it for both of them. Okay, what's yours? Busted. Ah, uh, see, now that we're, because we've just been having a very detailed yeah, discussion about Busted tickets. Busted announced, like, this week, officially they're reuniting, and then they announced this big tour, and we've literally just been talking about how we got really stressed about buying tickets, and then we the did get stress tickets. Of my life. It was really stressful, yeah. I got really nervous. But I reckon Busted one of mine too. Yeah. Definitely. That was, like, the band when I, I got into when I was, like, 11, yeah. and then I was obsessed with them. Yeah. They were my first band that I was, like, a proper fan girl. Yeah. I remember getting told off in an English lesson once because I had all three of their badges no. on my school blazer. My English teacher was like, Lucy, <laughs> clearly not a busted fan. <laughs> I used to write um, Mrs. Matt Willis on all my Oh school my books, god. Which is really sad, dude. Like, when I was a little kid, it was like. I'm trying to think girls. who else was really big in the, in the noughties. It was it's like. It's hard. The only person I can think of is like McFly. Well, yeah, Mc but you were. But like, that goes without saying because, like, I still love McFly yeah. more than my own family. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but, but let's stick with Busted. That's busted. A better I think answer. that's kind of like that's the first thing that comes into my mind. Yeah, same, for sure. Same. Okay. Um, the second question: first ever single you bought. So this could be like nineties as well. Okay. Well, the first single that I ever bought with my own money, like I used to get them for Christmas and stuff, mm. but the first one that I ever bought with my own money was Vanessa Carlton, Thousand Miles. Oh, that's, that's a good one. That's, and it's that's still a tune now, so that's that, quite a good that one. That is a good one. <laughs> I think my, I bought two, so it's kind okay. of cheating. Um, one was Madonna, A Beautiful Stranger. Nice. You know from the Austin Powers? That's Austin so Powers, naughty. Oh isn't my it? god, that's so naughty. I bought naughty. it from W.H. Smith. Yeah. And then, um, if it had been Woolworth, that would have been the ultimate oh, naughty purchase. Oh, Willie's is the best. <laughs> and then Britney Spears sometimes. Oh, it's gotta be Britney. I bought two of them together. That's a quite like a good purchase for the day, Madonna yeah, and Britney. Britney, yeah, it's my birthday. They're both very girly choices. They are, them. and they're still kind of iconic. Yeah, definitely. Now. They're quite cool ones. Kind of. The Britney one's quite cool. Madonna. Yeah, Madonna is not cool. <laughs> that is not cool for a ten year old to buy. <laughs> probably younger than that. But your parents were like, okay, sorry. Why are you Madonna? <laughs> <laughs> they knew that like life was gonna be weird. Yeah. Then, right, the next one is favourite TV show. In the noughties, mm. it would have been I reckon it would have been Sabrina. <gasps> yes! So I literally, still to this day, live for Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yes, I mean, how much did you want to be her? Oh my god, I so wanted much. to be like, still, I still want to be yeah, her. Same. Because she, she, do you remember like in the later series, she like grew up to like work on a music magazine and stuff? Oh yeah. She's living the yeah, dream. So good. Sabrina's really good. I used to really like um, the ones on BBC. So like um, the Queen's nose. Oh my God! Yes. The Demon Headmaster. Yeah. Although that used to give me that was worst dreams. I, I used to actually think my headmaster was Demon Headmaster. He was so scary. So scary. So scary. Like, so scary. Like, I, I reckon if I watch that now, I'd still be scared. Probably. And um, I'll tell you what was really scary: Goosebumps. I was too scared to ever watch it. No, I. And agree. are you afraid of the dark? Oh. Because the intros were so scary. That's I was always really, like, that's no, really Yeah. No, no, no. Like drippy. Yeah. <laughs> Could not be doing it with that. What else was good? Saved by the Bell, but that's more like 80s. I, isn't I it? wasn't really a fan. Well, you're not. Of that. Zach Morris. Get your own back. Oh my god, I love Get Your Own Back. Yeah, I love all, all these really classic CDs. Do you remember Short Change? Yes. I used to with, love um, that. Otis. Otis. Yeah. And they were like putting things to write. Basically, like, I got my magazine subscription. <laughs> and my toys are <laughs> right. Um, right, so the next one is favourite clothing shop. What, in the noughties? Yeah, I, so I was going to find that now. I was like, what? This is junk. <laughs> okay. okay, so where did you shop? Tammy Girl. Yeah, same. I don't think I shopped anywhere else. It was all about Tammy Girl. Sometimes MK1. Oh my god! Do you remember that? That is retro. Yeah. yeah. 
Tammy girl, I can't even think of an example of what today's Tammy girl would be because there's nothing. Kids are too cool these days. It's that's, not. It's they not don't have that awkward phase, no, kids these no days. Way. Like we had very awkward oh phases. Oh my god. Oh my, I'm still in mine. Yeah, Tammy girl was. <laughs> Amazing. It had like all these slogan t-shirts, like sassy chick. Yeah, I remember like I had like a glitter poodle one and it said like pretty princess poodle on it or something. <laughs> but it was like, it's my favourite t-shirt. I had ever. some pants that said cheeky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I was eight. I remember going shopping, like it was the first time I'd ever been allowed to go shopping on my yeah. own. Like with my friends. Yeah. I think it was for my 12th birthday or something. Mm. And I remember going into Tammy Girl and buy, it was in my Avril Lavigne stage as well. Oh, yeah. So I went into, Tam into Tammy Girl and bought like baggy skater jeans that had a p bright pink chain attached to oh, them. Nice, nice. With a, with a stick lady skater girl like oh, embroidered yeah. onto the pocket. Lovely. And um, a bright red t shirt with a tie printed on oh, it. Oh, they, the, they were the days. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I'm wearing it for a date next week. It's my favourite outfit. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one is favourite teen film. Give me a minute to think about this one. Okay, I'll say my one. Okay, mine has to be Mean Girls. Oh yeah, that is like that's like the it's ultimate like a cult classic. I remember <laughs> we watched it on DVD and um, watched it with my mum when I was like thirteen, and I watched it and I was like, this film's gonna change my life. <laughs> and it honestly has. And it has. And it has. It, it literally changed my life. It made me think. I don't know. It made me think about being a girl and how to treat other girls in a completely different light. Oh yeah. And it made me really think about things, which is very deep. For a teen film. Yeah, who knew you could take so much But I mean, it did honestly, like, as a young teenager, it did make me think. Yeah. It's not I think cool. it even does subconsciously. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, exactly. I love The Parent Trap. Oh my god, I yeah. I love, the, it's still one of my favourite films now. I could literally quote that until I'm like 95. I that love is, The Parent that's Trap. That's really good. I also love Freaky Friday. Yeah. Did it make you want to say good Lindsay Lohan films. She really. was a babe. Right. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> the next one is favourite Jacqueline Wilson book. Oh my god, I loved Jacqueline Wilson. She is still to my day my idol. Yeah, but like if I met her, I'd probably fangirl yeah, I think over harder her. than anybody else. Harder than like Harry Styles. Yeah, I think, I so think too. I'd be like, whoo. I think she was actually like one of the people that like got me into reading. Yeah. Went on to do an English literature degree. Exactly. Got me into reading, reading, got me into writing. Yeah. I probably owe my blog to her. Yeah, me too. To my honest. entire career yeah. to Jacqueline, Jacqueline Wilson. Jacqueline Wilson. <laughs> I loved, my favourite was Double Act. Oh yeah, I love that was a good Double one. The twins. Well, that wasn't that a TV show as well? Do you remember? Or a TV film? Maybe. I remember it being on TV. Know. It wasn't was as so good. I can't remember what any of them called. There was one about a tattooed mum. That was my favourite. I love the that illustrated one. mum. That's it. I, I really that liked one. that. That was great. That was one of my favourites. It made me realise that not everyone has a perfect family life. Family life, mm -hmm. and it made me feel better. Hard hitting. It was hard hitting drama. They were quite deep. Mm. Those books. Um, did well, they you always read explore very interesting girls in social love. issues. Yes, they but I wasn't allowed to read them. They, so were, they were saucy. I think my mum had to flick through one of them and saw like all sorts of shenanigans. They I did wasn't teach allowed to read me them. more about my life as I got older. They <laughs> yeah. were a bit saucy. Probably like got your like first sex education lesson from, from girls, girls in love. love. Yeah. Oh, girls are late. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, next one is clothing trend that you regret. Oh my god, everything. So many. Everything I wore from about the age of nineteen downwards. <laughs> Um, the Avril Lavigne thing. Yeah, that That's was that was a dodgy face for me too. That was bad. Very big flares yeah. that got this wet when you wore them <laughs> in the rain, and you always wore them on non-uniform days, and then you'd be cold for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, oh god, just literally everything that's popping into my mind right now is just like, oh god, that was so bad. This is more like nineties. This is more when I was like nine, ten. Do you ever wear skirts over trousers? Yeah, I remember when we were yeah. to school disco. The same. I had purple velvet. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I was never hungry. When I was at like my peak MySpace scene, mm. I used to wear like denim shorts, maybe like this big, like literally, and then I'd have like a big studded belt. Ah, oh, studded belts, them. hair amazing. extensions, literally down to my bum. Like I'm not joking. No way. And then this fringe that was just like. Pew, Oh wow. Right. What's next? Okay, next one is favourite thing that you did on sleepovers. Because that was a big thing when we were at school, like you went for sleepovers at your friend's house like every week. I don't know what we used to do. I can't even remember. remember. Well, I remember a phase that we did when I was like 13, 14. We'd watch Scary Movie 3. <laughs> okay. Just Scary Movie 3. We found it hilarious. And yeah. we all pretend to be the girl from The Ring, but we were too <laughs> chicken to actually watch The, the Ring. ring. Yeah. So we watched Scary Movie 3 because it wasn't scary. Watch the crap version. Yeah. Um, and we used to always get those peel off masks. 
from like oh, Montpang, yeah. Yeah. Ginnis, whatever it was. Beautiful. And then we all peel them off and like look at them. I mean, our skin oh, got clear because we were like children, so there was nothing to ever look at. <laughs> so we do that and then we kind of go to sleep. There was never really any shenanigans. Like, no one put their hand in water. No, we never did any of that Nothing either. We must have just watched films. Just yeah. a lot of films. And take, we took a lot of photos as well. We used my to have like photo taking Polaroid. sessions. Yeah, my friend had a Polaroid camera, and I remember she had this huge poster of Gareth Gates on her wall. Nice. So we take what it in turn to have a picture with Gareth Gates. <laughs> and okay, the next one is MSN Messenger or AOL chat. MSN. MSN. I've never way. had AOL chat. I, my mum always thought it was like where murderers would hang out, <laughs> so she would never allow me. Because she said, MSN, you're talking to people you know. Yeah. Whilst AOL, well, well, it's far as your mum knows. As far as my mum was aware. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It, it was mostly people from school, to be yeah. honest. And um, I loved MSN. I lived for it. Me too. I would probably spend like four hours in the evening on it. Did you? Straight I was school. not allowed. Yeah, straight up. School. I had a time slot. It was between eight and nine p.m. It was and quite then, late. Yeah, it was quite late. And, and, and I had to go to bed. Mm. And then Mum usually needed the phone, so <laughs> yeah. I had to get off. <laughs> Take the modem. But, yeah, out, I but the thing I do remember is like, if like, there was a boy that I really fancied who'd just come online, but I'd already been online. I'd like sign out and sign back in yeah. so that I would pop up and hopefully attract him. And, and hopefully he would like click on and be like, oh hey. How ridiculous. I know, I'd be exactly the same. I don't know. Did you used to like write your MSN name in those weird like mini characters yeah. with like stars and like the old version of emojis? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, do you remember the MSN version of emojis? They're like little yellow faces. The little yellow faces? Yeah. They were actually probably better than the emojis, emojis right now. I always had a flash in lol, which I used and I was really, oh really laughing. I had this one face that was like a smug happy face, so it was like... <laughs> that was my favourite one ever. I used, I used to use that all the time. <laughs> the final question is biggest teen crush. Oh my god. I've got a few. To well, be fair. Dougie from McFly. Oh yeah, was my absolute number one. I had was a he? I had a poster of him ripped out from probably like Smash Hits or something. Oh yeah, that I'd folded up and kept in my blazer for maybe like three and a half years. Really? That's not an exaggeration. Oh, I had a picture <laughs> busted it. in my lock and I'd open it and like stroke my faces. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was gonna help. <laughs> but, but yeah, Ultimate Team Crush. Um, right, who did I fancy? I fancied. Blue. Blue? Three out of four. Did you? I didn't fancy Anthony Costa. Oh, no, did anyone? <laughs> um, I've always seen Matt from Busted. I loved him for ages. I also loved Chad Michael Murray. Mm, he was a bit um, beautiful for me. He too. I never knew I had a chance. Really into that. Harvey from Sabrina. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, now Harvey you're talking. From Sabrina, he was a babe. He's super weird now. Yes. Yeah, never weird. Google Harvey from Sabrina currently. It will because ruin your it'll, life. Yeah, it will ruin your life. Forever. Um, who I'm trying to think of like movie Leonardo DiCaprio. I fancied him since I was about oh, five years Jack old. Jack in Titanic. Yeah, yeah, he was a beaut. Yeah. Um, obviously my Preston <laughs> from the Ordinary <laughs> Boys. He was, you know, my love. <laughs> That's so. Funny. I think I've got more followers than him on like Instagram. No now, way. Maybe makes... I could seduce him. Nah. Sorry, Henry. You're Sorry, out. Hen. Pres <laughs> Presty. I always felt like he was probably a bit of a dick. Yeah, to be definitely. honest. Like he came Boy. across like. Yeah. Okay, so that was our naughties tag. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was fun, like trip down memory lane. Really amazing. Literally, it felt like all my memories were pouring out my head <laughs> into my mouth. I was just saying it all. <laughs> but yeah, if you, um, I tell you what, if you were kind of like us and were born in the naughty, well, no, not born, lived through the naughties. Yeah. Let us know, like your favourite naughty. Wait, I memories. really want to read those comments because I would love to like yeah. reminisce. I'd like to know who the crushes are. Yeah, put in the comment your number one teen crush in the naughty <laughs> yeah. because I think that would be hilarious. No shame. No shame. No I like Preston, yeah. so it's fine. <laughs> we can all get through this. But yeah, let us know. We'd love to see. But yeah, I will pop a link down to Lucy's channel. We've also done a video on Lucy's channel as well, yeah. which is like the non beauty bloggers. Basically. Hat. All the grossest beauty related questions mm. you could imagine, we answered them. So yeah, so if you want to kind of be get like grossed out by us, <laughs> then head on over to Lucy's channel because you'll see a new side for us. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye! Bye.